Small hive beetles have a very unique series of interactions with their honeybee host. Once they go inside that colony, a number of behaviors that you would find it hard to believe actually occur. Here to tell us about that today is Eddie Atkinson. Eddie's a PhD student at the University of Florida's Honeybee Research and Extension Lab. Eddie investigates the interactions between honeybees and small hive beetles, in particular how those interactions develop. Now when beetles enter the colony, in response to aggression from the guard bees, they try to find uh, cracks and crevices in which to hide around the periphery of the colony. And when bees find these beetles in these cracks or crevices, the bees actually station guards to keep the beetles in these, in these prisons. And they do this to prevent the beetles from escaping and ovipositing within the colony. Now if the colony is stressed for some reason, whether it's queen issues or other pests, uh, the beetles can manage to escape and oviposit in the colony, which l helps lead to the destruction of the colony. But in strong colonies, uh, the bees can keep the beetles in there indefinitely. Small hive beetles don't just starve to death while they're sitting in those bee prisons. In fact, they've got a very interesting behavior where they're able to solicit food from their bee host. Take a look at this video. In this video, a small hive beetle has approached the edge of a prison and the bee guard is standing there wanting to keep the beetle from escaping. This particular beetle has used its antenna to rub the mouth parts of the bee. Rather than the bee attacking it, it's been touched in the right spot and it begins offering food for the small hive beetle. Believe it or not, small hive beetles are able to trick their bee captors into feeding them while in prison. As we slow this picture down, you'll actually notice how the small hive beetle's antenna are very intricately massaging the mandibles of the bee. This causes the bee to regurgitate nectar or honey from which the small hive beetle just sits there and eats. After the small hive beetle has finished feeding, he or she will go right back down into prison waiting for a chance to escape. Fortunately, small hive beetle problems are easy to diagnose primarily because you can see the adult beetles. Adult beetles are about the size of a bee's head and thorax, and when you take the lid off of a colony, you can see them scurrying around, or if you're doing work on the bottom board or on the outer frames where beetles like to hang out. Secondly, you might see beetle larvae. Now, there really are two ways that you'll see beetle larvae. At low populations, beetle larvae tend to be very difficult to find. So you might find them on a Varroa sticky screen that you're using or in beetle traps that go on the bottom board of the colony. Usually though, people notice small high beetle larvae once they have frames that are decimated by the larvae and there's thousands of, thousands of wiggling larvae going through the combs. Typically when this happens, it's too late. Also, you may notice beetle presence when bees begin aborting lots of brood. This is usually a sign that beetles are ovipositing in the brood and bees are removing that brood to get the beetle eggs and beetle larvae out. All of this problem usually causes honey to ferment and the honey will bleed out of the combs and can even bleed out of the joints of colonies. 